Eric Erikson, 1956, introduced the concept of self-identity and used it to express the constant sameness of an individual both within himself, sameness in himself, and in the same way external continuity, that is, constant sharing with people. Although he defined it in this way in the basic sense, he also emphasized that identity has many connotations. Among them are the conscious sensation of individuality, an unconscious effort for the continuity of a peculiar character and inner unity with the deceptors of a group. In psychoanalytic explanations, it supports the view that the formation of identity is caused by mother-child interactions at the earliest stage and that the development of body image is involved in the core of identity formation. In the psychoanalytic literature, the self is paired with the body. In the clinic, it is also observed that distorted body image perceptions, bulimia and anorexia are accompanied by personality disorders in personality disorders, and people with this pathology have intense body work. The formation of identity begins in the period of joint life with the mother, and the process of separation individualization is gaining momentum as it develops. Identity being exclusive to oneself is what distinguishes an individual from others and adds an originality. Identity consists of structurally based primitive internalizations, it purifies itself by discriminating from primary objects, is strengthened by subsequent selective identifications. Through identification with parents of both sexes, its consolidation lasts and it acquires a sense of belonging to a family, intergenerational boundaries and temporality, and more or less takes its final form in adolescence. Identity also determines the boundaries of self, or the boundaries of self, identity, a sense of belonging, a sense of belonging also develops with the formation of self borders. Disruptions in the formation of identity cause longitudinal and latitudinal oscillation, different from elasticity, of the individual's self. With this Tuesday, the others move in this oscillation, that is, they are lifted up, lowered down, defined as good and bad objects, exposed to the compartment. This oscillation can also be explained by the fact that it is incomplete. Tuesday. Because the emojis of an individual have limits, and the emojis are more or less lived within certain limits, the soul does not slip to the opposite ends of the soul. If attention is paid, the emphasis in a well-structured identity is on continuity, stability, self-tolerance, belonging to a group and the development of the concept of a family are the main themes.